Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe right here in Tokyo, Japan. And we're doing another edition of the Ghost Hunters Report. Now if you aren't aware of this, apparently the Ministry of, of Education here in Japan has come out and said that they intend to control the political activity of high school voters. Now this comes on the heels of a recent change in the law is going to take effect very soon. They'll allow people 18 years of age to vote for the first time ever here in Japan. Now the first election they'll be eligible to vote in is the um, upper house elections that will come up in a few months I believe. Now what is their plan as they have announced it? Well they plan to ban any high school student in a public school from joining any type of demonstration or political activity on or near the campus. They're also banned and um, other times restricted from discussing anything, anything of a political nature while on a public high school campus. It goes further and which bans teachers from discussing anything of a political nature or engaging in political activity with uh, voter eligible students at the public high school campus. Now this is clearly political oppression. This is clearly an effort by the fascist Abe administration to make democracy a very narrow idea. Even more narrow than it already has become in Japan. It's clear that the bourgeois here in Japan through actions like this view democracy very differently than the people view democracy. It seems that the bourgeois view democracy as their democracy. And don't you dare get in the way of it by your pesky opinions and political discourse. You know, like, there's a lot of things about Japan that go into this, and one of the things I want to point out is that, you know, for a long time, the youth in Japan, a couple of decades now, have been in a political slumber, and only recently have they kind of awoken. You're seeing people in their early 20s now being far more political act, politically active than they were in the past few decades. And we have a lot of different groups now, ran, organized, uh, funded and by people in their early 20s, very young people. And now you have these teenagers who will also be uh, eligible to vote and will, of course, be part of the political process. So the fascist government here wants to get a hold of this and control it as fast as they can. You know? Don't let these kids talk about politics. Don't let them organize at the public schools where they spend a majority of their day at. Where they interact with people socially in their own peer groups every day. Where the most high chance for them to discuss politics with people of their own age group and develop their own ideas within their age group and their peer groups about politics. You gotta stop that. They don't want that. What they want, clearly, is for mommy and daddy's, you know, view of conservative right-wing kind of ideology to pass, be passed down to these kids, and these kids just vote however mommy and daddy tell them to vote. Yeah. Or to just be limited to hearing the official government line of things. But they can't even talk about it, you know, themselves. Because, you know, a high school kid's life is, also, is rather very busy in Japan. And the only the real time they get any type of social free time to talk amongst themselves is at the public high school. Especially at a public high school. You know, that's where they get to socialize and talk to each other about anything they want. So, yeah, it makes sense the government would come down and try to control these kids. Now, is this going to work? Maybe. It's probably going to get a lot of kids not to want to say anything. Not to want to get as active as they, they probably would have been. You know? And what's going to be the punishment for these kids? 
when they say screw it, I'm going to talk about it anyways. I'm going to be involved anyways. When I look at, you know, Japanese society, I do live here and how things are here, you know, I think the punishment, a lot of cases, will probably be a lot of intimidation from uh, administrators, harassment, you know, uh, using a kind of shame the family by sending letters home. Your kids talk about politics at school too much. You know, trying to embarrass the family a bit so the family will scold the, scold the kid, get him to be quiet. You know, it, it also they could take it to the point of suspensions or even expulsion. Trying to ruin a young person's uh, academic career over this. There's a slew of things that could go, go down. You know, a lot of oppression. A lot of political oppression could potentially go on there. You know, so I thought I'd bring this to light, let you guys know this is going on here in Japan. And I want to hear what your thoughts of it is in the comment box below. First time you see me, I would appreciate if you subscribe. Get lots of videos like this, and from time to time, things you may not expect. Plus, there is a bit of an archive on this channel. You can check out past videos as well. Um, until, until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. Check it out.